Okay, so today we're going to take a look at this Z power steering setup and see if we can figure out the best way to get it installed. I have looked over these pieces and it seems pretty self-explanatory. I attempted to read some of the instructions online and it didn't help me a whole lot, but it gave me an idea, um, which is why I decided to create this video because I wanted to show some more detail of what I've done so far. I'm not sure if it's the right way, which is the most disappointing part of the instructions is there's not a lot of reference to the order of which these pieces should be put together. Um, I was also concerned with the cosmetics when I got it. Um, I've taken all these pieces that came with the kit and had them powder coated. Um, they were exposed raw metal, there was a little rust on some of them, but uh, I painted the steering shaft, I changed the, the hardware out, uh, checked all the U-joints, made sure all that was done uh, properly and everything seems to be in order. I had these ceramic coated, so ceramic powder coating is, is much thinner than traditional powder coating and it doesn't require as much heat so it's not going to damage any of your joints but um, like I said I was I was concerned with what order this stuff goes together which is what I'm going to try to find out next and specifically speaking as I looked at this um, bearing here obviously there's a, a side that has these set screws which I've come to figure out you know or what secure the, the steering shaft to this bearing but it doesn't reference if those set screws go inside the car or on the outside of the car. I'm assuming the inside of the car where it's easier to get to because this is under the brake booster, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, it doesn't also reference this mounting plate at all, um, at what point you put that in, if it's before the column, after the column, if you put the bearing onto the plate uh, before or after you put the column in. Um, and it matters, right? Because I don't want to do this stuff over and over again. So if the, uh, the instructions are a little bit more specific, I think it'll make it easier for everyone to install. I've only sold a few of these kits, and this is my first time personally installing one. So I think uh, after looking through YouTube, trying to figure out if there was any other video references that explained more, which I didn't find anything that did. Um, if you're like me, you go to YouTube a lot to, to make it easier on yourself. And so far, um, I wasn't able to come up with anything, so I thought it'd be a good idea to make this video. I'm not going to tackle anything to do with the, uh, the electrical just yet. Um, one of the other regrets I have is I made the, uh, or excuse me, I, I installed the dashboard uh, previous to really inspecting this, which if I would have had a chance while the car was apart, I think it would have been easier to put all this together before the dash was in, but I'm not pulling that out to put this in. Either way, um, I think I can get it handled. It may be difficult to get the angles that I want to film this properly, but uh, we'll give it a shot. The parts look nice. I took the plate and had it polished. I've replaced the coupler that's referenced in the uh, in the instructions with an aluminum one, give it more of a, a direct solid feel. Um, this is a T3 product, and uh, I think this is everything I need. So outside of a few hardware pieces that I'm going to have to dig out here in a second. I will uh, get this over to the car and hopefully not have to do too many things over again as I figure out what order uh, each piece goes in. Um, it looks pretty self-explanatory like I said, but uh, I'm sure there's a, a better way to do it if you do a certain part at a certain time. So let's give it a, give it a try and uh, see what we come up with. Okay, so I'm on to the next step now, which is attaching the male portion of this um, included piece here that goes with the, the kit. It's basically just your uh, modified steering rod um, onto the motor itself. Now, one thing to note is when this does slide on there, it, uh, this bolt goes through here and sits inside this channel so this thing, the shaft can't come off. It's another safety feature. I don't imagine at this point it matters where it goes, but uh, I'm going to get that buckled down, or tightened down rather, and uh, yes, yeah, so just loosely it's already secured in there. So I'll secure that down tightly, and then I'm on to the mounting plate inside the car that uh, 
just discussed a minute ago, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I got the plate in. It only goes in one way. The four bolts are not equally spread apart, so you can't really mess that up. Make sure you tighten these bolts first before installing this plate in. Um, I learned that the hard way, but um, I've put the male portion, I think I referred earlier to the male portion. This is the, actually the male portion that comes through the firewall. Um, just forces through this bearing here loosely. A uh, little concerned about the, it's hard to see, but you know, this is a, this is almost like a keyed uh, shape. It's not perfectly circular. So um, I'm concerned about, you know, any airflow coming through there. Maybe I can uh, check that out once it's put together. Maybe it just bottoms out here and seals. But uh, other than that, so far so good. We'll um, put the steering column in next and go from there. All right, sorry for the bad lighting here, but working in the garage and doing my best. So I now see why it says to have a partner or somebody help you do this because this whole steering column is kind of awkward. It weighs, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 pounds. I'm trying to put the bolts in and get this female portion here slid onto this male portion that's sticking out, which is not supported to anything yet and get the, uh, the two bolts in up in there. Um, maybe difficult to do by yourself, but I'm gonna give it a try. I don't really think I can film that because I don't have anywhere here to put my phone camera, but we'll get it handled. Okay, so I got it in. It wasn't the easiest thing in the world to do by yourself. It would have been way easier to have somebody help me, but so far so good. Smash my finger. once or twice tucking that uh, motor up in there but I've got it in there like I said I haven't touched the wiring yet it uh, it looks nice so I hope this video is helping people who are get this out of the way, uh, trying to do that themselves and kind of have an idea of what it looks like when it's in now I'm gonna connect the original steering shaft that goes from the rack and pinion to all of this on the uh, engine bay side and we'll go from there all right, so I've run into another problem. I've only got maybe half an inch between the steering shaft and the coupler that it connects to for the power steering, which I don't know why, because this coupler is obviously about, I don't know, maybe an inch and a quarter, so I'm a good three quarters of an inch off. But the good news is, is this is adjustable. Um, this, this steering shaft here is adjustable. I can loosen that nut and you see these threads here. Um, they're not threads rather, but they're uh, the teeth for the gears that uh, hold on this shaft to this piece here. I'll loosen that up, push this down maybe that three quarters of an inch and that should solve my problem. All right, so I got the coupler in after I made an adjustment to that rod. It wasn't the most ideal way to do it, but it works. And now on to put the steering wheel in and see how it works once it's all wired up.